the time has come to welcome the biggest movie star on the planet. Tom Cruise is the Hollywood megastar behind some of the most memorable films of all time. Top Gun, Jerry Maguire, Risky Business, Minority Report, Rain Man and the list goes on. Well now he's back with a brand new Mission Impossible, the seventh instalment in a franchise that's grossed more than five billion dollars worldwide. coming after you. His fate is written. Shall we write yours too? If anything happens to them, there's no place that I won't go to kill you. That is written. It's the biggest, most dangerous mission of them all. Tom Cruise's epic action franchise is back with Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Yes, it's so huge, it's been split into two movies. Ethan. What's your objective? What's your ultimate objective? Your life will always matter more to me than my own. Returning to his iconic role as Ethan Hunt, Tom does things no ordinary man would ever dream of attempting. There's a thrilling car chase through the streets of Rome. The key is, don't crash. I have no idea. There's a fight on top of a speeding train. And the biggest stunt in cinema history. Tom riding a motorbike off a mountain in Norway. And it is all very real. On set, director Chris McQuarrie and the crew held their breaths. And that's exactly what you'll be doing in the cinema too. Tom Cruise in the flesh is here with us. Good morning to you, morning. Tom. Welcome to Sunrise. It's great to be uh, here. Spoiler alert, you made it. You yes, survived. You're I did. Here. I think so. I am here. Phew. Yes. Take us through what it means to do a stunt like that to you and how much work has to go into it. That was day one. And that was, look, I've been riding motorcycles since I was a little kid and I've always wanted to do something like that. But to break it down, I mean, I go through and I skydive, I fly jets, I fly airplanes, aerobatics, helicopters, parachutes, all that. But this stuff like this is very, very technical. And so what I did was I just broke it down for each department where I was training on the motorcycle and I just did a bunch of jumps and then I trained skydiving and base jumping. And you have to, I had to do it at very uh, unusual attitudes, exiting the the aircraft at different mm -hmm. unusual attitudes just so that to see how fast I can recover because as I'm jumping off that so many things go wrong mm -hmm. um, and I had to be able to recover very very quickly because I had about six seconds before I opened the chute and about eight to eight and a half seconds before I hit the ground so there were things that I had to really think about because I don't want to get tangled in the, in that bike uh, don't want to get tangled in the bike. <laughs> Have to watch. And also, when you open, if I open my shoulders higher, there's certain uh. strange winds there, and I open in a particular way. And you can see in this, when I'm, I test in the morning, right before I go, I, do, I take a low pass with a helicopter. I'm jumping out right into the bowl. And you can see when I open, I turn into the side of the mountain, mm. which that, that can happen. So you have to be ready. At, you got to be ready for anything, really, it's basically. It, it really is. And um, you say you did a bunch of jumps. We've watched the making of, oh, which yeah, was amazing. Yeah, that, and you, it said you did more than that. Yeah, thirty thousand uh, motocross rides yes. and five hundred skydives. Yeah, it was more. It was actually more skydives than that. Wow. I had to do a lot more. So this is prep. just your prep work. How long did that take? That took. You know what? It's just kind of decades of training, and then it was m really months to figure out how to do this because it's not just me doing it. It's the story behind it. Where do we put the camera? Mm. How do we? 
how do we shoot it in a manner that's cinematic? Mm. And that's that's what we're looking for. Look at everyone seeing it. Mean, really we're nice. going to have to talk guys, up hello. because it's a huge crowd hello. here for you. That's amazing. They so, go crazy. That's amazing. <laughs> so lovely, my guy. So when you're putting so these beautiful. ideas for these stunts together and you have to enact it, um, I can't imagine insurance is easy to get. Yeah, I don't ever worry about that. It's not my, that's not my problem. Not your department. <laughs> <laughs> there's certain things I produce these films. There's certain things I'm saying, guys, you're just going to have to do it. I'm going. Yeah. That's what we're, Chris we're doing this, said. so you better figure it out. Is that what McHugh yeah, said? He, did. Yeah. he said that's someone else's department. Yeah. Someone else's department. Yeah. There's like, you want to know, like, even though I'm producing it, there's certain things that just, I have to say, that's not my problem. I can't think about yeah. that right now. Do, do you ever get scared? Yeah, I do. I just don't mind being scared. That's the difference. You know, I, I feel as I'm breaking things down, you feel, I like that feeling. I like that feeling of uh, what's going to happen. And, and I've trained, I train, train, train for everything. I mean, I, even movies, I, I want to make movies my whole life. And I was, when I was 18, I've, my first film audition I actually got, second film audition I got the movies. And then I would go in and I would just study every single department. Um, and I still, do that. So it's just something that I'm, I'm constantly work to be competent at things. Mm -hmm. And so I'll study every single department from writing to mm -hmm. cinematography, word, like every department I'll go through it. And what then do you think? as I went on, I studied the studios and then I studied distribution and I just want to travel the world and make movies. For the audience. And, and you yeah. give over to your craft like no one else does for Thank the you. audience. What is an eight year old Tom Cruise say to himself as he drags the plywood over to jump those trash cans. <laughs> oh my gosh, you so, did your homework, oh my gosh. What do you think he would think now wow. that you're doing these stunts? I think he just wouldn't believe it, that this actually happened. I just wouldn't, you know, it's something that I just never take for granted, it's such a privilege. And I, I do, I make my, my movies for audiences. No matter what kind of film I'm making, I'm constantly thinking, you know, I want, I want to satisfy that audience. And I'm, look, I'd make a wide range of films and different kinds of genres. But when you see that eight year old kid who's going through, and I, he just wouldn't believe it. Honestly, yeah. just would not. I just, I still don't believe it. The train stunt. That <laughs> was wild. Oh, we that built was... that train. Did you? Wow. Well, we built the train. We built that train to go down. We had it in Norway uh, and we had it in England. We mm. built that train. It didn't you know when you're a kid, did you ever play you know, with train sets yeah. and stuff like that? Yeah. So McHugh and I were like, we play with train sets and you, yeah, that's and what we're doing. Because that slow realization as the audience, and I know people haven't seen it yet, but when you realize, hang on. It's still going. It's going one by one and you guys are on it. How did you come up with that idea? As McHugh, Christopher yeah. McQuarrie, just great ideas. And then we just developed the stunts and the, mm. the progression through that as we were going to find the story. As we're doing, you know, the way I was trained, the way I make movies is it's not just you have a script and you kind of cast the actors in that and have them kind of fit. We're, we're looking at the cast and we're building the characters and developing the characters throughout mm -hmm. the story. Mm -hmm. So, and when you have someone like Haley, you find that kind of character dynamic that allows that kind of humor. You know, because you can do all the stunts in the world, but if you don't care about the characters, you're not investing in the story. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not interested in that. So. I love that train scene. Yeah. Wow. I know, she's so, hilarious. Oh, she is. She's and yeah. you look at it, look at us playing two shots. Now, it, I know, I just want the audience to enjoy the film, but when you're looking at her, to be able to perform in that manner, when we're in a, the same frame, high speed, her first time she's done car chases, first time she's on these things, she, it's, I, I just, I watch her when I'm, when I'm, we're editing the film and I'm making the movie, you just see her performances. Mm. Funny, magical, mm. engaging. Yeah. Phenomenal. Um, Tom, I've got to be honest with you, as a kid growing up, I was a sprinter. I uh, went to the Olympic Games did you as really? a sprinter. I did. Whoa, um, whoa, whoa. Thank you so much. What, yes. year, what year were you? Uh, in 2000, I went to the Sydney you Games. You went to the here. Sydney Games? Yep, yep, yep. Um, but what was your event? Which one? 100 metres. Oh, wow. And forever and a day, wow. I said, if I ever meet Tom Cruise, I'm going to ask him. Do you work on your running from your that. running that's, scenes? I saw you run. Yes, yeah. in the Olympics. Yeah. I, I so, saw that. We've got a few pictures. So, Go, man. my yeah. question is, did you go. have any formal training? Did you have a coach? Did you, like, because when I look at it, you're a good runner. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. You're a great runner. I'm a good runner. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I've just been an athlete my whole life, gymnastics, and I mm. love to sprint. 
since I came out running. You know, what I, mean? you? I was like that little kid that was just, I get a new pair of sneakers and you just got to hit every puddle and you're sprinting. Yeah. And I've had not a lot of training, you know, but sometimes through the years I just get a little bit of coaching and I had different mm. coaches when you were growing up. Not, not like, not like the. Amazing. Well, like I've always that. wanted I mean, to ask really because was, it's always impressed me. Uh, always you. impressed me. You know what I do? I watch people. Mm. I study and I, then I try different things on my own and I, I really, I'm someone who I'll watch someone and then I'll imitate them. And then I read about other people's training and, and I'll train with different Olympians or, mm. you know, I'm, I'm constantly studying. Well, if you ever need a coach, thanks, man. Thank you. Let me know. Thank you. I'll take you for a ride. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Any other sprinters in your family yeah. or Olympians, uh, uh, future we've got Olympians? A couple of, yeah, potential, mm. potential athletes <laughs> coming nice. through. Nice. Yeah, yeah. No pressure. No nice. pressure. Oh, yeah. we'll, set up a, we'll set up a training. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. It'd be great. Let's yeah, do it. Definitely. Let's do it. I love going to the track uh, and sprint. I mean, do you still sprint? I'm sorry. I do a little bit. I do, yeah. Feels good. It's like anything, right? When you do something for so long, going back back to it makes you feel comfortable and, yeah. and confident and yeah I do like going back and doing a little mm. training session. That here. feels good doesn't it? Yeah it does it does. <laughs> I did my sprints this morning. Did you? Yeah. Did you? 4 a.m. I was doing my sprints <laughs> early. Yeah. I had Where? a sprinting day. Wow. Whereabouts? Just in my room. Yeah. One thing really? to, yeah, you yeah. still like to keep that fit obviously. Oh I have to. Mm. I have to. When we finish here I go back and I'm we're in England to finish the next one so mm. I'm training I've always trained my whole life, but I, I train. Mm. You never have a moment off. One thing you do love is sneaking into a theatre, don't you? I love and going it. and watching yeah, as an audience member. I'll uh, go from with my movies, but I'll go see other films. I like going and watching. I like Friday night or Saturday night, opening weekend, to see a movie with that packed audience. Those people that love the cinema, love, love the movie that they're about to go see. It's really mm. fun. Mm. Love that. Do you yeah. dress up? Like, how, do you, how do you do it? You know, I just go in, I wear a cap, really? I'll wait and... Do people recognise you? I'll sit down and then they'll look over at me and I'm like, they help oh, me. No <laughs> way! <laughs> they do. Sometimes, yeah, okay. sometimes if I go in, they'll yeah. say, hi, Tom, and it, we're all there to watch it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, hey, everyone, yeah. and oh, you know, a goodness. few selfies, then everyone settles down and we watch wow. the movie together. Yeah, right. That yeah. is cool. Um, it is fun. Yeah. You know, it was six years ago, you were sitting right here. I don't know if you remember, you announced that Top Gun 2 That's was right. coming. Yes, yes. Right well, here yes. in yes. yes. I just said I was going to make that movie, yes. Yeah, it was kind of yes. big. So, you yes. know. And we did it. Yeah. Yes, you exactly. did it. And it was, it was pretty good. It was, it was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> thank goodness. Um, any reveals? Anything you want to share with us this time in this very studio? Yeah, you know what? We're making another Mission Impossible. Are you? Yes. Oh, of course. Part two. <laughs> part two. <laughs> which is amazing. Which I'm good. We're doing yes. part two. Yes. Uh, which we can't wait for. Um, any, anything anything on the that? Top Gun front? Don't know. I'm not decided. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to? You know, it's all, it all depends on story. Mm. It all depends on what story. And, and look, it took a long time to figure that one out. And I really wouldn't. When we started working on it, I knew that I had the, it had the potential to really deliver for that audience. So mm. it kind of did. Oh, um, thank you. I'm so yeah. glad. What a relief! <laughs> really Let me tell you, there was there's, like, so, there's always pressure, but you know, yeah. that was Top Gun. The, one of the most amazing things I think for anyone watching on was your interaction with Steven Spielberg, where he said you saved Hollywood's ass by releasing that into cinemas. That's yeah. very nice. I, I, imagine, like, that's very nice. take us through that. Take us through what sort of a respect that is and then also the power of you being able to have that and to do that. You know, it, look, I just, distribution is very important. I think it's important to our industry and I want, they're, now they're wishing me happy yeah. birthday. <laughs> it's coming. It's, it's coming. Not, not just for me, but I want, I want other artists to have that opportunity. I think it's a beautiful mm. thing for Society that we share these common environments. You love. <laughs> the common environments. Hello, you all. Thank you. <laughs> the common environment for us all to experience some. It just. It's this. I love this art form. So. Mm. And we love so you we doing it. it. We, do. we love you doing Before it. Before we go, you. we would like to wish you happy birthday. Thank you very today. much. Thank you so happy much. Birthday. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Thanks. Any Mission Impossible plans? Dead Reckoning, a phenomenal film. We're gonna have a premiere. Yes. Mm. I spent most of my life, which is really beautiful, on making movies. I'm either on a set or I'm out promoting a movie, and that's how I'm, I'm lucky. That's been my dream, and, and to still be here doing it is, uh, 
very special. Well, you have mm. some cake. And I love it here. I love this city. You know, I love Australia, so we're going to have a lot of fun. And yeah, now good. you've got a running coach, so you're off. And yeah, i got a running yeah, coach. Yeah, yeah. Can have exactly. some cake tonight. Yeah, yeah, we'll go yeah, for yeah, a run. Yeah, we'll go for a hard run. All good. And, Tom, don't forget, don't be careful. Be, be confident. Be confident. <laughs> I will try to be confident, yes. <laughs> thank you so much. That's a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. thanks so thank much. Thank you all. One last little plug yeah. for you, Tom. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 opens in cinemas on Saturday.